Hey everybody, it's Chad Warren at Chad Warren76 on Twitter and ChadWarren.me online. Today we're checking out a comment on Twitter. The Luciferian system that runs Hollywood has a new wholesome competitor, Tiffany Fitzhenry. To learn more, check out at Hireside Chats, and here's their link. This is a picture from that show. I see that it's not very clear. I'm trying to figure out, uh, you know, I looked up online the dimensions for a Twitter post, which is like 300 by something, and I can't get my images to fit in there, and so I uh, reduced the size and I guess the quality, and that's not really working. i got to figure that out. Okay, so Lucifer is real. Well, I mean, this is just very confusing on its face. And uh, Mike Lee, I, I, you know, don't want to be adversarial. I'm just trying to understand. I assume I'm taking you at face value that you are as well. I, That's my style. I'd like us to all uh, learn together. And I, I believe in this idea I call the radical sinner, meaning mm -hmm. that, you know, more and more of us feel outside of any kind of pop culture you know it's been a long time since uh, I could turn on TV and watch Happy Days and MTV and even though those are just Hollywood pop culture things uh, going to the skating rink all those fun things in my youth you know those things at least made it feel like you had a central world and then now that we have the internet while it's nice that we're interactive it's a very uh, psychologically volatile environment and I think that instead of the fake center that's promoted by corporate government and media you know uh, whether it's we need to go to war to defend or whether it's we got to have trannies at the library and and you know and got to pour Drano in your eyes if you want to be blind and the and the psychiatrist could do it you know like whoa you know <laughs> i mean like we need to calm things down we need to be honest but we need to really reflect on that's I, I believe in the ideas of the United States I don't believe in like you can burn that constitution I don't care you can burn the flag and all of that none of that's that's the problem is that people worship those physical items those artifacts but the idea that a government is run by the people is a good idea I don't think we have that at all I think we don't have that because people rely on these misrepresentatives you know, what is this? What are we, illiterate? And it's the 1800s and we have to have some rich white man to represent us? No. Do we need to be angry at Lucifer and Hollywood? And is that going to help us? No. We need to be assertive and figure out and then defend ourselves and examine our own behavior. All right, so... You know, I was just initially looking for more clarification. I mean, I see that this person is promoting their books, you know, which all, I, I, all of us, you know, I don't really have a very active YouTube channel because I just don't like the fact that there's nothing really happening with all this YouTube stuff. i got to plug in with battery here. There's nothing really happening. It's just a bunch of... Uh, talking about stuff which certainly I could be accused of that here today but uh, you know I do want to figure out some kind of new uh, po po politics I assume at some point you know you have to be involved in, in thinking like that whether you want to be or not you know what I mean you can't just uh, go live in the woods or whatever because I mean or the people in Africa or whatever, you know, so, sooner or later some barbarian horde or witch hunters or Nazis or commies, they're going to come force you into their reindeer games. Uh, so, yeah, you got to, you got to uh, learn how to have a real culture. We don't have a real culture. We have a pop culture. So that's what this is all talking about is... 
I, I you know, sh this Tiffany uh, Fitzhenry was on the higher side chat and, and was saying that she was, is, you know, was in that world of writing scripts, I believe, and then noticed that she could only get so far and, you know, she wasn't aware that, that, that it really was this Luciferian system, but then she figured out it really is just all about doing whatever they tell you to do in addition to whatever talent you have. That's what decides uh, whether you're successful. And uh, they use phrases like above the line and below the line, which would be like uh, the cast versus the crew in a movie. Uh, and, uh, you know, I heard that phrase used the other day in a conference about uh, hating the white man as the devil. But one trying to figure out how to do that, and they were using this. Uh, we're going to draw a line here and say these people are above the line and these people are below the line. I don't know if it was the lenders and the boo, but anyway, that's, you know. So, in, in, so all of us, our, our, our behavior is questioned. You know, the, these, uh, that's what I don't like about uh, Christians, right? I grew up Christian and all that, is they, especially you see on this YouTube world, right, where they're critical of um, Hollywood media, but that's all they do is talk about Hollywood media. You know, and like uh, they never seem to question their own Christianity. And I think things are pretty well. Certainly, you know, there's this Protestant versus Catholic, uh, and then that's all bogus because the Protestant movement was run by the Rosicrucians. Uh, you know, um, that's the real issue at hand here. So this person is talking about controlled opposition. So. Yeah, I think that this is a topic that really we do need to kind of consider more. And, uh, you, you know, you see the same thing with the science and the people, like a discussion like uh, global warming and, and, and cl climate change, to where people are like, oh, well, there's peer review, you know, and these are the experts, and anybody that disagrees with what they said about science on CNN is a conservative point of view wait a minute you know what i mean that's not how it's supposed to work at all uh science would be you know people in marginalized uh, non-popular points of view trying to bring those into uh you know application and then then you get like the movie the current wars where you had tesla versus uh Edison and Westinghouse and the financier J JP Morgan and stuff you know those are the the factors that play the money the hard working uh, the uh, self study of phenomenon you know I mean Tesla is just as much to blame as a behavior problem as Edison you know because the good people get screwed over so that's where I'm more focused is on examining our own behavior. And, and, and I, I personally, you know, question Christianity. I mean, it, the 1611 version of the King James Bible has Masonic handshakes all over it. King James was a Freemason. You got Constantine of Rome who made it the state religion of Rome. I mean, would you trust it? You know, if, if, if people like Trump today because they don't trust the government, the deep state and all this... Well, then why would you trust Rome, who's making uh, Christianity the official religion? I mean, isn't Christianity a controlled opposition? I mean, uh, Jason... I can't remember his name. Reza? What's his name? Let's look it up. Jason Giorgiani. This guy was on uh, Aeon Byte Gnostic Radio talking about the idea that Rome made Judeo Christianity Christianity the religion intellectual dam against a a 
very puritanical version of Zoroastrianism that was taken over in Iran. So, you know, there's always arguments within any of the, these identity groups as to what they are. You know what I mean? And so they created their own monotheism. So now we'll finally look at, uh, and then of course you've got uh, Joseph Atwill who thinks uh, he's got his book Caesar's Messiah and he uh, believes that uh, Christianity was uh, invented by the Romans uh, to, you know, if you just uh, were to exchange the names with the the dynasties of Rome, uh, that that's who it's talking about. Okay, so let's see what uh, Mike Lee, Lucifer is real, is is saying about Lucifer's controlled opposition. What is this website? Uh, Lucifer is real .com. Via a Twitter, Twitter article, maybe that was mine, I don't know, because I used has to, hashtag Lucifer, I was led to a YouTube video in which Tiffany Fitzhenry was interviewed about her efforts to expose the elites. Do a search on YouTube with Tiffany Fitzhenry, expose elites, and you'll find it will show at the top of the results. The title is actually The Hollywood Elite Exposed Tiffany Fitzhenry. You can also find her on Twitter at Tiffany Fitzhenry. So after watching the video and looking at her website, I got a bad feeling about Tiffany. As Lennon is famous for saying, the best way to control the opposition is to lead it ourselves. I certainly agree with that. But I mean, then if you're talking about point you to uh, learn about economics professor Anthony Sutton who uh, wrote a book uh, I think that's the title uh, Wall Street funded the Bolshevik Revolution or I think it's uh, the best money the best enemies money can buy so yeah there's no difference between the Nazis and the communists it's all just these rich elites using these systems I you know and then America is totally Masonic it, it, the, that's uh, the founding fathers reference King Cyrus I always get confused is he of Persia or Babylon but I think I mean the Jews were held in captivity in Babylon that's when they got into this Talmudic that's really what the majority of Judaism is is based on this Talmud which is saying that anybody that's not Jewish is Goyim <laughs> and then like Christianity says the same thing it's just try, it tries to be all passive aggressive like they really think they are nice and all that but I mean you're ultimately saying I'm nothing God is everything then uh, they use it like an amulet of like well you know God loves you password if you don't believe in God you're going to hell and you you will be opposed here on earth by us so I mean that's just you know what I mean that's just completely hateful, pr pretending that it's not. It's the way I see it. Okay, so that's that's uh, talking about controlled opposition. While she appears to be leading the charge to expose the Luciferian elites, on the contrary, it appears to me that she is herself a Luciferian that has jumped to the front of the anti-Luciferian parade. Well, number one, it is very easy to, you know, not research people and uh, be seduced. I mean, I used to uh, have hope about Alex Jones, you know, because I was already uh, looking at all these alternative points of view, conspiracy, occult type of stuff since Scotty, J.R. Bob Dobbs and all that in the, in the 80s. I'm 43. I was born in 76. But, I mean, I was like, well, this is getting more attention, so I thought that was better for the whole. And then I really thought it was ridiculous that, all, you know, Trump came on his show, and then all those people support Trump. And I'm like, how could you people be, you know, uh, skeptical about inside controlled opposition, but then you don't question Trump at all? You know, and so they're obviously just, you throw a dog a bone, you know what I mean? We're all so desperate so easy to manipulate us so that should include all of us you know what i mean like i am not at all op 
I'm more like, hey, we need to help each other because I certainly don't feel any, you know, really that I have anything to show for it after all these years of researching this stuff. The intent would be to slowly lead her followers into a different direction towards Lucifer. Well, okay, I mean, where, where's what backs up that claim? You have that feeling, okay. Following the path of love and light. My first revelation was at the 27 minute, 32 second mark in the video when she says, when you're on the side of the light, the, the statement is very odd. I, you know, that's that feels kind of fair to point that out. Not, you know, that definitely does sound like an enlightenment type of mindset. Christians and believers in the true God. You know, what, do, where does do you even know what where that name God comes from? The Jews won't even say his name. You know what I mean? Uh, I think that is a German medieval word. So that that right there is just kind of a like. You know, they don't question anything about their own identity label of Christianity. Christians and believers in the true God, not Lucifer, would say, when you're on the side of God, or when you're on God's side, yeah, see, that's just like a Democrat kind of, you got a gang, and you all... ...book, and, and, and this is not, you know, it's good to... Pray. Profiling is, is valuable about my speech or anybody's speech definitely has contextual clues of like, okay, this is where they're getting their thinking from by the word choices. Luciferians use the word light often because Lucifer is called the angel of light and the light bearer. And more examples. So this is his, his, his evidence is that she's using light. The universe, God's source of all life is, in truth and through our rapidly rising consciousness will discover it's what we naturally are as well and that the road out of darkness and into light is paved with the beautiful golden bricks of truth and love lies and havoc are no match for the truth and love lies and havoc are destroyed by truth and love I don't see how anything's destroyed conservation of matter conservation of uh, concept you know like these are relational concepts chaos and order that's that's that right there i mean that to me when i think masons i think they're these people that know how to play politics they know alchemically you know they about there's opposites and and you know magnetic attraction and repulsion and uh, you know using that against the populace so they are rich and powerful but that, but anybody can observe nature themselves, you know. So that's the thing. Are you? What are you saying? Knowledge is that? Are you saying light is bad? See, that's the thing. Let's let's look up. Uh, let's look up about light in the Bible. Bible study tools. I'm sure this is considered uh, among Christians. I mean, it's just going to be referencing the Bible. Light is used to symbolize God, faith, or holiness throughout Scripture. Use these Bible verses to gain a better understanding and interpretation of the positive notion light has in the Bible. Psalm 119, 105. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Matthew 4.16, the people living in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. Matthew 5.16, in the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Personally, you know, it, it, okay, so we'll think about it. Now, now. All this stuff is fascinating. That's for darn sure. Uh, Protestants. Okay, so that that's about reading the Bible. That's about coming to your own conclusion. Now, probably a lot of us have lost the historical context. My understanding is that, okay, 
the Catholic Church, you know, was obviously all about the state controlling people's relationship with God. I mean, already right there, that Christianity is completely questionable. Now, well, the way they did this is you couldn't read that freaking Bible. You would be killed if you had a Bible. So that's why people today are big on the Bible was one of the first books to be mass published, right? So the real hidden power there is the printing press. Now, of course, that's going to be some Masons. And then what was the other book that was published? Oh, Shakespeare. And of course, that's all run by masons there's not the the idea that shakespeare this penniless actor uh did all that is ridiculous uh so again and then the, and then you know you're keep you're keeping the established order in power by using those middleman tools you know what i mean I'm like what really i don't really see the big valuable thing christianity has to offer well you gotta be good no crap do you are you the first to say that are you the first to invent forgiveness no are you the first to invent these messiahs this monotheistic god no there's all kinds of people claiming to be the son of god there's all zoroastrianism is this other example of monotheism so i mean this is the reality of what we're dealing with. You know, smart people don't run the world because there's a lot. I mean, it may be very, you know, some cunning, you know, uh, intergenerational families of great wealth, the Borgias and, and whatever, those kind of people run the world, but not like poor, smart, smart people. Uh, poor, smart people become computer programmers and then you're making $500,000 uh, a year and you have no time because you're, <laughs> working on computers all the damn time what was the first uh, use of the uh, uh what was ibm's first application of their computers oh i don't know counting the uh jewish prisoners of war all kinds of prisoners of war in the the, the camps in uh, germany we're all holding smartphones today made by slave labor in asia predominantly that is such a terrible condition that they jump off the roofs to kill themselves so much that they have to have suicide nets they make the women get abortions during their lunch break they can't even leave even in the bathroom you and i are evil if you don't think that 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 you're can it's only by degrees that makes us different than these Rothschilds, Rockefellers, and whomever. I, that's not fair at all. It's not helpful at all to blame Hollywood and all that. We, you know what I mean? We're watching all this stuff, and we're free to go make our own culture. What what is anybody? You know, what is YouTube doing? What is what is any Christians? Any of us? What are we doing? So if you don't have that kind of an attitude, then I I. I you know you're further away from the light of truth to me so that i think i've destroyed this point about that's their whole argument about light you know what i mean and you wrote all these books about this i just beat that on saturday with my cell phone camera I, you know you're writing books you know you're just out there trying to get we're all struggling to get money i mean Yeah, there, there. You, I just don't want to be close-minded. You know, yeah, you know, you, you, okay, Luciferian. You know, again, the apple on the desk of the teacher, right? You know, and then that's linked to the Garden of uh, Eden. Well, I mean, wouldn't realist think that the Garden of Eden is like real? Like you're, you're not going to question anything about nature? No, you have sinned. I told you not to. Ask any questions. Get out of here. Who wants to hang out with that? That God is an asshole. Well, right here, I'll tell you what. I'll take it up a notch. Both Jesus and Lucifer. Oh, I hate that. That doesn't work.
Jesus and Lucifer are called the Morning Star. It's my understanding that the Mormons think that Lucifer is Jesus' brother. Masonry and Mormon, it's all Kabbalah. Kabbalah's older than the Jews. <sighs> okay, where am I at? I'm at truelife.org. They're showing a Pharaoh with the cobra death mask sarcophagus thing. I'm already assuming this this is some pro Bible page that's going to dispel this, and but as long as they show us the correct scripture, how you are fallen from heaven, O morning star, son of dawn! How you are cut down to the ground, you who laid the nations low, Isaiah 14:12. So that's dissing Lucifer, I presume. The verse about Jesus is in Revelation. I Jesus have sent my angel to testify to you about these things for the churches. I am the root and the descendant of David, the bright morning star. I think it's saying that David is the bright morning star and he's the descendant of that, but that would be an indirect connection. It's clear from the context that these two passages aren't talking about the same person. The passage in Isaiah is a poetic reference to Satan and his fall. In the context of Isaiah 14, Satan is referred to as the king of Babylon. Some don't agree and say this Isaiah passage isn't about Satan, but is indeed about the king of Babylon. The problem with that view is that no earthly king could do what this king aspired to do. If this passage isn't talking about Satan, then the question about why Satan and Jesus are both called morning star is irrelevant. Revelation 22.16 is clearly identified as Jesus who is talking. He claims the title of Bright Morning Star for himself. Uh, is this the phrase you're talking about? Yeah, you are. 22.16. No. Testify to you about these things. I am the root and the descendant of David. The bright morning star. The last word name it would refer to is David. It's at least confusing. See, it, the Bible is just not helpful. It just creates a bunch of confusion. The, I heard that the whole 13 colonies of America were basically differentiated by different uh, denominations of Christianity. You know, with in, they weren't even talking about black people. They had signs like, if you're a Baptist, don't you enter this state or we'll kill you when the sun goes down. So, and, and what does Christianity do today? It kisses Trump's ass, who is Zionist, you know. It's all about Israel first while they're saying America's first. We, you know, U.S. taxpayers have already built multiple walls for Israel. They don't have their wall they want for here in America. It just, you know, what do you do about stupid people and then smart people that don't understand other intelligences like politics and psychology and all, you know, it's just a big clusterfuck. But I tell you where I would direct you, what I am trying to accomplish, okay, if I do have a, a YouTube channel is to do stuff in the real world and this radical center idea and getting these different groups to work with each other because you know that's what the gnostics failed at is they like well we're going to take this heretical contrary opinion and uh, the only ones that survived were the ones that were you know somewhat uh, uh, open to the dominant culture at the time of, of christianity 
Now, I don't want to be compromised uh, just to survive or for my children or whatever, but, um, you know, the idea of the United States, not, not like a legal system of laws, but of now together, like, like Battleship, uh, Battlestar Galactica, which is written by a Mormon, and it's this Jewish idea of this diaspora, and, and, and you know, a, a ragtag group of rebels, you're going to have... <laughs> You're gonna. It's like Star Wars. It's like you're gonna have to work together with other people, or you're not gonna make it. It's not gonna matter what your opinion is. So we should be we should be focusing on making an alternative to Hollywood, to control our dollars, to control the 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 content of these movies. It, let's say you're into economics and you're in your you want America to be uh, have defend itself against China's economic aggression. Well, China it runs the movie industry. They own Sony uh, Pictures and uh, they own most of the distribution channel of the movie theaters. So these narratives turn into politics. That's why I'm so excited to see what happens with the Star Wars failing. Is a great time to generate alternatives to Netflix and all this kind of stuff and to YouTube and you know what I mean? And to really be the, be the first generation that knows that we are, are, you know, it's not just the, the, the Masons that are social engineers. We're all in social media. And the only way to deal with that is to realize that that's what we're doing. We're making choices. We don't know we're doing our best, but you know, we have to be the culture creators, you know, we have to take the uh, connotation off the word cult. You know what I mean? Like America's a cult. Christianity's a cult. You know what I mean? It doesn't just lead to Charles Manson and, and sex abuse and all that stuff. A cult, culture comes from cults. So we need to not leave all of this in the territory of the New Agers and the occultists. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, these Christian churches are a joke. You, you've got YouTube videos of, hey, I'm the Christian tech guy. I found this when I was looking for how to deal with audio sync issues. They all do that. And I, don't... I mean, that's who's running the church is the AV guy. He's got like all these action figures behind him. And he's like, hey, let me level with you. You know, like, you know what I mean? Like, uh. I went into one of these Baptist type of churches with the TV screens and the music, and it's, I swear to God, it had freaking the two twin towers in the background of the image that, like, some Bible verse was on. And I'm like, this is obviously Masonically controlled. So, and you can't fear all that stuff, you know what I mean? Like, enter the stars. Uh, all he does is talk about Hollywood movies and all of these secrets in it, right? So he's, you know, ostracized by more mainstream Christians, I assume. And I just was watching all that content. It's very fascinating. And he's talking about really cool stuff about how in the, in the body, you know, that you, you can uh, see these connections to the Bible, Scripture, and the anatomy of humanity, of the people. And, and, and but, but my point is, it's like, is any of that really Christian? Like, I mean, and you if you're focusing on all, oh, here's what the negative Lucifer Hollywood, this is what they're doing, they're negative, 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 negative. Well, what are you doing? You're making these videos, and you got your own little cult which we all do if you have a youtube channel you know what i mean there's just not enough self-examination going on the real conspiracy is that we say we want to be free and we want to do the right thing but we don't really want to do the work that it takes to do that that is my big lesson from being addicted to conspiracy uh point of view for a long time so we need to stop complaining and start taking action and linking together the audiences of these channels, you know, so, so you know, so that we don't have to hear about, you know, Nick Fuentes or somebody having 15,000 views over at DLive and that means he made $1,300. 
can we not figure out how to organize a whole bunch of little channels to go, let's all go watch one of those channels and then it'll get these views and then let's go over here. We here in the peanut gallery of... for the representatives in uh, traditional government. We need to be figuring out how to be a replacement for the FBI and the CIA. Do open source intelligence gathering. That's what we're doing anyway. Uh, you were just we need to be more professional and you know what I mean. Detangle ourselves from uh, these controlled mediums like uh, Twitter and YouTube. You know what I mean. You can't you can't rely on that. They can yank that out from under us easy. So I've gone on enough here. Uh, please uh, reply, if you will. Uh, Lucifer is real. And, and, you know, let's don't just make this about, I'm right. You know, I'm right. <laughs> well, look, how can we, how can we work together? Because we obviously are, are both trying to, you know, not have our children be completely consumed by the idol worship of uh, another Marvel movie and, and, and whatever. Uh, certainly good lord uh, there's a ton of stories in the bible why, why don't they have bible action figures you know what i mean, <laughs> I mean just uh, these are a lot of low-hanging fruit we should be able to work on together despite our differences uh and then check out the higher side chats go check out tiffany fitzhenry and and if uh, you know you found her through at chad warren 76 let her know and then here's the big ad is to go to My favorite show that is on Wednesdays, I think around 9 Central, S.B. Alger and Jim Maiden host the sh uh, RX Only Picture. And there was a great show this last week. Let's see if I can see that. The, the, you'll probably see it, 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 it uh, advertised live here. But actually, on my on mine, I'll show you. There was a good show. Beth Martins. Uh, I'm meeting such beautiful people through this podcast. I highly recommend this community and listening to this replay. It was an epic discussion. I promise you will find it much more valuable than watching Netflix this weekend. That's the mindset. This is where we really live. These are the choices that we make to watch this instead of Netflix, to find 10 people to come watch RX Picture Show Wednesday. These are kind of goals that are realistic. Jim Maiden built it as Come Join Us Live with special guest Beth Martin's RX Only Picture Show number 64, Archetypes, Mermaids, and Leaving Feminism. Mine was, do you like weird, funny, smart live hangouts with interview? Check out the RX Live picture show now. I think I'm... I'm a link to that. Jim got all of our attention by... At mentioning this, but it's going to manifest it naturally, like the nature child. Like we just simply take a step back towards nature, and nature op is waiting there with open arms to take us all in. And we can all maybe we can all lay back before we're uh, leaving this plane and watch the banking architecture collapse without suffering. It's not impossible. That's what I would want to see. Just have the thing decay, just like a skyscraper. You know, beautiful, good visioning. Uh, if I could jump in there and just let people know that if you um, go and, and pre-order for the, the cost of the pre-order in the book, it's 20 bucks plus shipping. And what you get along with it right now, because I'm still editing the book, it's going to be coming out some point in 2020. Then what you get right now is an archetype study group where every two weeks we get together live on a Zoom call two Zoom calls, actually, because I've, I've opened up both for the European time zone and for North American and, and Australia. 
so that you can come and have the conversation about the archetype and it's so beautiful it's actually the most fun i've had in my okay so that would be my focus being successful and happy in the real world with your creative venture and 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 now that we have this communication abilities of zoom uh video conferencing and and in all of this we should be able to hold each other accountable you know I don't want to see these models like uh, network marketing, you know, where it, it invites everybody in and only like 1% or less are successful. You know, obviously something needs to be looked at at, the, at, the, at our models. We all need to be thinking in terms of what's the actual physical outcome of anything that we're doing. We need to be planning, doing, and reviewing. We need to have, uh, you know, just basic uh, professional work uh, behaviors of, uh, you know, taking account of of what are we getting out of our spending our energy that's our currency so thank you very much i hope uh, this one too long-winded i hope you got some value out of this give me some critiques uh, in any way uh, point me to uh examples of how the focus is how do we create uh, a viable alternative media and that which becomes a viable uh replacement to degenerative pop culture point me to examples of that preferably in the that are in the real world change that is happening if tiffany fitzhenry is not your example of uh somebody that is breaking out of hollywood i want to hear pro and con facts about about what she's doing i need to look into her more it, do you have somebody that you would uh, uh uh show in that regard how can we support each other you know what i mean in in uh checking out this content uh and promoting it and then that becoming like sales and and concerts and events and etc thank you very much Remember, it's at Chad Warren 76 at Twitter and Chad.